Get out of my sight. Looks like Steele's turned on us. He's talking with Brown. What are they talking about? Uh, I don't know. Steele definitely knows Mr. Brown. Forget it. Just get out of there. Rendezvous at Rally Point Echo. If I'm not there in an hour, you know what to do. Otherwise, wait for me. Roger that. nice covering your back with the plant. I must say I underestimated you. What's your association with Brown? We have some business together. You know, I'm glad you paid me half up front. It's pretty easy to kill a few of Brown's men. What kind of business? Let's just say that 50 grand you paid me. Nothing compared to what I'm going to be raking in. You know, I liked your plan yesterday. Keeping your little partner safe. My men are always my main concern, and then my targets. And now you're both steel, which makes you my main concern. So tell me, where should I start? Start out by watching your back, you prick. It took me four months to set up our little mishap. You got out of it. You see, I don't take unnecessary risk with my investments. And well, leaving you alive was an unnecessary risk. It doesn't matter, though. I have four men on your tail, and one of them is going to put a bullet through your head. Steel, buddy. Tell me, how's the scotch? Delightful. Why do you ask? Just wondering. I'm a fan of a little Johnny Walker myself. Sorry, Steel, but you're my unnecessary risk. Now that we're over that speed bump, we go for Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. <laughs> Mr. Brown. 